Hi everybody, welcome to Law Doc Way. Today's video is going to be a look inside Evan Moore's Science Lessons and Investigations, Grade 3. We are going to observe, analyze, investigate, model, and apply within this. These support next generation science standards. What I love about these science lessons and investigations is they are set up in basically units. So if you are a unit study homeschooler, these are perfect for you. Each one includes 12 units. These units for this particular grade are within life science, earth science, and physical science. The units that you will be completing are plant and animal life cycle, nature and nurture, adaptations, organisms in a changing environment, group social behavior, fossils of ancestors, weather, climate, natural processes and hazards, changes in movement, predicting motion from patterns, and magnetic forces. Another thing that I really love is that all of the Evan Moore workbooks always come with an answer key, so you are never left wondering. Now, this particular workbook gives you the what is in here. It tells you that you have 12 engaging units, there are teacher specific pages or parent specific pages, the unit concept page for the child, an explore activity, a reading selection, a concept vocabulary and vocabulary review. You also have concept, concept comprehension, projects, extended writing prompts, and the answer key. You're also going to get teacher strategies, things to keep in mind, tips for science activities, and the nature of science. This, if you were in a classroom, gives you the option to send home for materials needed. So I'm going to show you through one of the units here. We will be focusing on the plant and animal life cycles. You can see here they include the concept, the lesson objectives, the learning approach, and then it gives you kind of a breakdown of what the next 14 pages are going to have. So you have the teacher resource page, the introduce the concept, spark the question, the discussion guide, and then the student pages you have engage, explore, explain, evaluate, and extend. So what that is is what they call a 5E method. And that 5E method is always going to be engage, explore, explain, evaluate, and extend. And the variety of activities helps to build on students' prior knowledge and experience and helps them to apply their understanding of the science concept in a creative way. So for this particular one, here is your engage. So you're going to introduce the concept, spark the question with how does a plant or animal grow differently from how you grow. Then you have a discussion guide and then explore activity preparation. So it says plan an area with ample sunlight for students to put their plants for two weeks. At the end of the activity, determine what will be done with all of the plants. You might let students plant them in an outside garden at school or continue observing them in a classroom or take them home. So it's going to tell you what you're going to kind of need. Here, for Engage, it shows you different life cycles. For Explore, you're going to be exploring a plant life cycle and you're going to work together to basically, it says here, um, explore the different stages of two different plants, life cycles and growth, what you're going to need and then what you're going to do here. For the explore, you're going to continue to put the date and draw your marigold and your radish, which will be the two different things you're going to plant, and then write your observation. For explore, you're going to continue to write your analysis of what were your predictions and were they correct, what did the marigold look like at the end of week two, what did the radish look like at the end of week two, what did your plants need to have in order to grow, what similarities and differences did you notice, and how do your plants look different from these adult plants. For explain, you're going to be reading here about plant life cycles and then animal life cycles and then your concept vocabulary. It tells you, for instance, conditions, germinate, life cycle, metamorphosis, pollinate, reproduce, stage, and sustenance. And then you have notes over here. You have a vocabulary review page where you will be using your vocabulary words, explaining each of them, and then using the right one in a sentence. And then you'll be looking at these photos and using those vocabularies to label them. For evaluate, these are the concept comprehension. So what similarities do plants and animals have? What are two differences between plants and animal? 
read the title of the diagram and draw a picture for each box. So this is the life cycle of a human. And then here we have plant and animal life cycles evaluate again. And you're going to be talking about the metamorphosis, reading this incorrect sentence and fixing it, and then using a Venn diagram to compare an egg and a seed. These were those extended writing pages that they talked about. So here is imagining different situations with a turtle life cycle. Here is explaining more, like if your teacher has bad news and announces that you're no longer any roses in the entire world, they're all gone. If there were no more in the world, explain what could have happened to cause this. And then there is a project option. There's actually two different options that you can choose from if you wanted to extend it further. So option one is a life cycle video. You can work with a partner or a group to create a video of a life cycle of your favorite animal. Find books and other resources to help you learn about your animal and how it grows. Then option two is a seed mosaic. A mosaic is a type of art made using small colored objects to make shapes. You can draw an outline of a beautiful plant, flower, tree, or bush on a sheet of paper. And you could draw one in your neighborhood or park. One that you've seen in a magazine or online or for your imagination. Think about the different colors and shades and parts of the plants and mark where everything is going to go. Find seeds in the colors that you need or buy them at a store. So that is one full unit. I will say after looking through this, it is very extensive. I definitely think that it could be a full science for an entire year. I think there is enough in here meat wise that it would be enough to, to just do this. I also think because of the way it's broke up into units, it would be very easy to beef up one of these with additional books and videos and resources. So if you are looking for something that gives you the ability to be kind of simple where you only need this and the ability to add more to it, I definitely think this is an amazing option. So again, that is Evan Moore's Science Lessons and Investigations. This particular one is grade three, but they are available in other grades as well. Mm -hmm.